But that's cool. We can go. I don't know what we're talking about. We can go right yeah. now. This isn't planned. <laughs> Impromptu hair say. Yay! Some smack. Uh, yes, Hi. we're back with hearsay. Episode um, seven or six. Let's cut that out because you're not sure what it is. I'm a check. So we're back. I'm we're a back. Check. We're I'm back. a check. And you know why we're back? Cause we got something to say. That's I'm a why. check. Wait, we got something. Wait. Right. Episode seven. Blue. So first things first. We've been hacked. Oh yeah! Wait, first things first, can I just comment on my skin? Because I went to France. Melanin. I went to France for a day. One day. And I've come back like, I, I actually scared myself. I was like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I pulled my makeup and it's not my makeup. And I realized it's because I was in the sun for one day in France. Pasta. I got my medal in y'all. Oh, I got my medal in y'all. But yeah, back to, back to, we've been hacked. Yeah, how dare you come on our Instagram, mister, because I know you're watching our videos, or missus, at the CM thing, and be posting about some white girl, something, 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 <laughs> some <laughs> longer hair, soft hair, and oh, you stupid people. I'm about people stupid. liking it, like, yeah, can't you got this thing? Yeah. No. Foolish. No. Foolish. It wasn't us. It wasn't me. What do you want to say to the head? <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> anyway, let's go. The first, so you haven't seen the video. So the first I thing. I saw the video. Oh, you saw the video. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is about this young lady. I think her name is Bonita Tindo. You know her name and everything. I wrote an article about okay. it. It will be up soon on the blog. Okay. Um, about this girl who attacked this dude, Corey, Billy, Chad, David, whatever his name is. At the same thing. Um, over his locks. So, but can we just, do you know the story? I and mean, did she literally just stop him the, in, in his she, track? Yeah, so unfortunately she stopped him to talk about it. He didn't seem receptive to what she was saying. And he tried, and he tried to, to walk away. She dragged she him back. Put, yeah, okay. So she did put her hands on don't, him. Don't put your hands on him. No, so she's wrong for putting her hands on somebody, but I don't know what kind of relationship they have in school. Like in no relationship at all. Perhaps, That's why perhaps it maybe, maybe an perhaps, issue. perhaps maybe not. You don't know if they know each other okay. outside of that situation. I don't right. know. You know, put that on there. When it was the black girl getting hit by the police officer, everyone's like, "Oh, but really, what happened outside of that situation?" Yeah. So I'm gonna ask now. Outside of this video, how do they know so each what other? Happened? What is what yeah. happened? How I mean, they, they could have been other? best friends. I mean, they could have grown up in the same neighborhood. I mean, he could have put her hair on her profile. Exactly. So you never know. You never know. But either way, she should put hands on people. So that's that was her mistake. mistake so that's one. number one. Don't, Don't put, put your hands, hands on Billy or Chad or Corey. Ah, oh, that's his name. <laughs> that means he is it. Yeah, sorry. That's it. That is true. <laughs> I, was, I just can't remember which one it was. No, no. So okay, basically, cool. she did that, and now it's this whole hoopla. Channel 4 posted it, everything. Oh, like, really? Yeah, that's how I found out about it, because they posted it on Facebook or whatever, yeah. about this black girl Channel viciously four. attacked. So they want to jump on whatever they want to jump on. But when really important things are happening, you ain't posting. But she, I expected her to lay the boy out. Like I expected when they say viciously attacks, I expected her viciously to viciously like, attacks, like punch <laughs> the guy, whoa, whoa, tell, whoa. knock him back to his ancestry. Let's bring him back now. Let's bring him back. Viciously attacked. That's what she did. just sort of pulled him back. Yeah, from the stairs. Like no, no, come back, come back, come back. She was, and he she didn't was fall. He didn't she fall. was laughing about it. No, he didn't say ow or anything. Regardless, she shouldn't put hands on people. But mm. I, like, from the titles of some of these these articles and think pieces and whatever going around, you would think my girl laid him out and he she ripped off his locks, put him in stew and forced him to eat them or something like that. So it's always, you know, a big thing when you're not trying to paint a black woman as aggressive. Fine. Now I agree. Rational. I do agree. However, mm. where did her business in this come into play? I think she just stopped him to tell him like, yo, you're appropriate my culture. And he was like, on the video, he was like, but you're not even Egyptian. I'm thinking, shut up, Billy. It's hard for me to defend you, Billy, when you change shit. Because he took, and he <laughs> even did. I tried. <laughs> I was about to try. And then, no. no. because he even did a video, a response video, talking about. Did he? I, in the article, you read the article, because I wrote it. 
and he basically in the in the video was like it's not even part of their culture it's in viking culture egyptian culture Proof. billy egyptian okay black. billy chloe jimmy i'm done and i then was about to but no, the next thing know. he goes very right he said he's not in part of colored people because he used that term colored people's culture he then goes to say Oh, but if I'm wearing it, that means I'm showing respect for their culture. You just told us the culture wasn't ours and now you're trying to say you got respect for our culture. Boo, make up your mind. Yeah, when you then come and chat rubbish like that, I'm like, mm. But at the same time, I just feel like, I, I'm not sure why she did it. Like, I don't really, I'm no. not really behind her. Like, I'm, yeah, no, no, you should have done that. Like, 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 I'm a bit like, I wouldn't why? Have, why did you? I wouldn't care, like, like I'm not watching yeah, white people care like that. So much? And if you care so, why care so much about the one person then? Why wouldn't you go write an article or do something for like the whole thing? And that means to you just do that to everyone. Like, I just find it weird. Yeah. But, like, they don't know their relationship and then mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And quite frankly, I don't care. Next. No, Next thing. Oh, Shane Moisture's new advertisement. Yes. Something Some positive. Stuff. Yay, Shane Moisture. I feel like, why is it taking so long for somebody to. Why is it taking so long for this to happen? Mm. Not an advert in regards to, um, if you haven't seen the advert, it's basically the fact that Share, Share Moisture is now in the beauty aisle mm -hmm. instead of the ethnic, ethnic. or whatever. What do we have here though? Because that's America, right? Mm. Do we have, we have black hair care. We have the Indian mancha. No, 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 but oh. in, <laughs> like in, in those retail, like boots and stuff, do they have like black hair? I'm sure it says black hair care. Yeah, they have their own black hair care section in the hair care. Thing. It's like, still in, yeah, but so as Joyce says, it's they, in, no, yeah, they have like black hair care, and, yeah, and separate. Okay, but in so in America, I'm assuming they have beauty, which has all the hair products and blah blah blah, and then they have the ethnic aisle. Yeah. So and then some retailers over here, we don't even have no ethnic aisle. We just don't have gym. <laughs> so you. Like if you wouldn't get there. <laughs> can you can even walk into the shop and try and yeah, you just walk back out. You know when you walk, you know when you walk in and hear that ding ding. Ding ding! <laughs> That's it. That's you, don't, you don't even get to the aisle. But um, yeah, so the advert is just like yes. I loved it. I loved it for many reasons. The first reason being they used a darker skinned black woman with kinky hair in, dash, as the right, main person. Dash, right about time. Representation, you know? It matters. The next That's point good. was that they used some natural hair bloggers in the video. Yeah, oh, I did love that. Because you kind of relate, you're like, oh, Anna, yeah, you really and production wise, I just like the whole the the, um, the shaking shake of the shaking and yeah. it's like, oh fuck you, fuck you, Pate Pro V, yeah, yeah, I like that. I that was, was like, good. yeah, that's right. And then they're in the beauty oh, aisle, it's like, right, the whole about. I mean, you really, and then by the end of it, you really do feel like about time. Like this should have happened, and it's like a yeah, yeah. You hear the crowd roaring. <laughs> you hear them. Oh, God. Could you? I don't I'm done like I didn't see just people in a crowd going <laughs> I heard the crowd roaring. I was giving my really round done. of applause. Just in a crowd. Oh round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, well done to Shane Moisture. It's about time that this has happened. So we're glad that you've been the ones at the forefront. Well done. And a very powerful and moving advert. Advert. Whatever, promotion, you know, at least in the sudden one day just thought yeah I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have dreads up Justin Bieber's I know white boy that wanted to be black when he was younger from day we knew this from day like, we knew this just just sit down sit down and doesn't like his, his locks are like They're thinning at the end you know when you have you told that he damage <laughs> and it's at the end like it's just, like it look like we're like, trying to get rid of that boot and you're trying to have it <laughs> but then everyone's like yeah yeah that's Justin okay, it's like 
Yes, just like, did. Oh then, my god. And then you what did he so say good. though? What did he say though? He said, oh, what's the comment that he said? What did he say? Well, he, try, he obviously tried to defend it and whatever. And everyone was like, you are just, you know, just not. Like, whatever, man. They should show that. He, they should show Justin Bieber to, what's his name? Corey. Why is it every day? Why is it every day these people, white people, they're just, it's always something. You're not black. Just sit back and appreciate. Hmm. Just sit back and, and even if you know you're gonna wear that hairstyle, don't be starting to deny it. And, and then you're trying to, yeah, that's what that's what Corey did. Like, oh, it's not even part of their culture. Shut up! Just shut up! You look stupid. <laughs> there was something else though. Neve from um, yes. What's his? What's the? What's the thing? Catfish. Neve from Catfish made a comment. Dog rat. Now you need to refresh my memory because what was that talking about? He basically, on Black, on the same day that Black Girls Rock came uh, on BET, it, yeah. he basically said, Black Girls Rock, question mark, yes they do. They also catfish a lot. Just saying. How about hashtag just saying you look like a butt? How about just hashtag just saying that like nobody wants you or even listening to you, me, but anyway. You know what I'm saying about Batty Beach. <laughs> Batty Beach? Where did you get Buddy Bleach from? From the trip. <laughs> um, and then obviously Twitter starts going crazy. Black and Twitter went mad. Sending for you as they should. Exactly. And then he's turned around and apologised and he's like, oh, I didn't realise. Thank you for educating me. Dickhead, like you're a grown ass man. A lie. Like, and you chose to do that on the same day of Black Girls Rock to try and take away from something. And these people think they can do this thing, do this rubbish. Yeah, I mean, to be like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, like, just, just use your brain. Like. Bye, Neve. Bye. And the other guy, whoever, whoever your friend is, the one that looks like. That's why buddy. people now are just like, I ain't watching your show. I ain't watching your show anyway. So. But who, who, who are you? Like, you started watching that show the ages and it's dropped off. Like, who still watches your show? That's probably why he did it anyway. Because you know, black people go and re- re- bring. Yeah, like, people try to be smart. And anyway, Neve. But so speaking of Black Girls Rock, mm. why are the white lady there making her little speech? Lord, and everyone's face like, <laughs> really? why? Why was she there? Uh, let me come you? on the stage and talk about my political campaign at Black Girls Rock because I am a middle-aged white woman with a whole lot of privilege. And I called black children predators when I was 49. Super predators, in fact. Thank you. Vote for Hillary. <laughs> like, who <laughs> told me the most awkward Why thing? Why are you there? Why? It, I heard it, it, was, it was awkward. It was, it was more awkward than Stacey Dash coming out on stage. And like that, that was that, awkward. At, um, at, was it the Oscars or something? That was awkward. It was just as awkward as that. It was just Why? like. I really feel like people's mental, like, State needs to be assessed. But like she should. Two letter on there. Who, 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 did, who that? did that? Who did Please that? own up. Put your hand up. No. That's like me having something for Why black business and day with Cameron. No, but seriously, like, just think about it for a second. Why would you do that? I don't know. I just think it. Maybe, maybe she was paying for the whole thing. Because you know BET ain't black owned. But it's almost on the level of disrespect. I think. It is like, I feel like you're mock- like, it's a mockery. It is a mockery. That's it's supposed to be an exclusive place for black women. And, and here you, you come. come in with your little, I don't even know what to call her. Your clickety coop. Stepford wife. Ask her and look and tell. It's just weird. She and just, I find it disrespectful and it's just like a joke. Like you're just taking a mock. It was, it was it. basically like a joke. Like, ha ha, you have your own space, but I'm still going to trample on it with my political campaign because I want to be up in your space. Bye, Hillary. The, the, the audience spaces were priceless though. I would have been like that too. It's all right. face too. I would actually say something like, Bill, <laughs> get off the stage, <laughs> Bill. Get off the stage. <laughs> get off the stage. <laughs> Why are you on the stage? Like, you look unnecessary. A whole bunch of unnecessary. So, let's talk about black businesses. Yeah. Um, so, as you know, we work with black businesses every month. Um, very happy to do so. Very supportive and, um, you know, we take pride in helping out our black businesses and featuring them every month and offering discounts to our followers as part of black to business which you can check on our website Um, one thing we've noticed when if it's just sort of initial research into a business or whatever um we've noticed a lot of these businesses 
or if it's like a, I mean, I guess it's specifically like clothing or yeah, like fashion. Things that are called, well, yeah, no, so, yeah, 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 specifically um, items of cultural like influence, like African culture or Caribbean so print, culture. Print, like prints or prints, jewelry. What they call tribal stuff. But it's not tribal, it's just from us. Inspired. Um, yeah, okay. inspired. Um, are often modelled by white men and women. And it gets on my nerves. And I know you have there are some sites where you like, for instance, for t-shirts, or you ha and they have the basic model that is, for some reason, or just a white person. Like, can't you have any other models where white, white people do not? But bypass that. So I understand that some of those websites have that. But we're not talking about that. We are talking about the black businesses <laughs> that specifically use white models to model their cultural wear, and it just gets on my boobs a little bit. Because why? <laughs> why? Why would you have a white person modelling a, a traditional dashiki or 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 a kufi or um, an ank or you and know black the fist wrap, and then the head wrap. the earrings and the... just why? Why? I don't like it. It's just I find it really rude as well. I find it really disrespectful. Highly disrespectful. Like you can't use a black model for your brand and then you're just carrying on like the cycle of black because models not I've, being used yeah because i think it's like they want to include and appeal to and the appeal white audience to the white audience and say hey look we're diverse um, buy from us which, how many white fans did that before that? which i'm not gonna lie i can understand I can understand just because it. a business is black owned doesn't mean it has to be for black people only. Not, no, not necessarily, but you can get them white. Quite, if the, this is the problem with like the mentality because the white people will not. It's, what you're assuming is that white people will not buy from a black business only because they have black models because they'll be like, it's a black thing. Which but it's aimed they at, may do. But if it's but what you're saying, but if it's cult, if, if it is the fact that it's a cultural item, exactly. Or whatever, and can then you, you have aim the black. At, I know you're aiming at everyone, but why then not? Why have all white models, why not just have one for diversity's sake? The same thing they do to us. Yeah. Why why do you have to have all white models? And not even just like cultural where sometimes it's a brand where you see a black person owning it and they're doing things for the black community but they have all white models and I just feel like you're just contributing to the whole thing that, you know, who is it, Ajak Deng left the modelling because it was just because of the, the environment that white people create for their models. So in order to change that, we have to have black businesses using black models and you're not doing that. And it's really frustrating because you just feel like you're not, yes. you're just there to gain white validation yeah. yet again. I was just trying to play devil's advocate. I 100% agree with you. Then what I mean like, here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they would all be because I was just trying to put it out there because I feel yeah. like that's maybe what they're thinking. No, I understand that, but it's just annoying. Yeah, it's, I, yeah, it's just... And then on the flip side of that, yep. you have Brand businesses that, from the outside, appear black-owned. Appear black-owned and are targeting black people. Specifically, specifically targeting black people. And then you find out that the owner is white. So they're mining the black coins because they know there's power in it. So all these black businesses that are there with the white models, I'm like, you don't understand. You don't what's going on. These people are specifically using black models. It's a models. mockery once again. <laughs> it's, a mockery. it's a mockery once again. Not having it because they're specifically using black models to get the black coin because they understand there's a power in the black consumer. And it's really and you've got black people that are going the opposite you know, way because you just assume. Like, yeah. Okay, there's a brand and. They've got all black models. And they're targeting me. And they're using black slang like fleek and sick and all of this stuff. So it must be owned by a black person. Yeah. Wrong! I'll go and support and give my money. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to support black businesses and they ain't even black on. And I find that so rude as well. I like feel you're like... just mining coins from the black community. Again. Why would you do that? Why if you're gonna do if you're gonna be a white person and have a business and you want to in like you should want to include, not target. That's like, that's, consumers. that's that's what the issue is. You should have targeting. a dive, like you should. For example, if you had like makeup, and <laughs> <laughs> so if you go onto their Instagram page, you will see these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful black women and makeup. That well, wait, when's the last time you got the page? Because I looked at it from. I look, but when I did look, there were beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful black women, and I can't say anything about the makeup because I've never tried it. So whatever, promoting the makeup, and we contacted them. For black to business. 
And we were like, hey, you know, are you doing your thing, girl? Like, yes, let's have you part of Black to Business. And they replied. We specifically saying, laid out as well Black to Businesses for supporting Black businesses, the reason why, blah, 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 etc. And they replied just saying, oh, we can't do it now, perhaps later on in the year. So we were like, okay, that's cool, you know, you're a small business, you know, you're growing, do your thing. Do your thing, let us know when you're ready. I go on Instagram now. I'm on Instagram now and I'm seeing this little white girl liking all our pictures. So I was like, oh, that's nice, little Becky come along. And then when I clicked on the page, I saw CEO. CEO. And I was like, hmm? Adrian, what's up? You better check out this shit. <laughs> what? It's a mockery. Um, yeah, like, honestly, like, not being rude, no, but seriously, I, it, it really shocked me, like, really, really shocked me that. But that's, you see what I'm saying? But she recognises And again, it's like you say, because you are targeting. So fair enough, you want to have a makeup brand that also includes... Everyone. But none of that range is for white Caucasian people. You are... Well, I don't know. Like, there may be. But it's you're not targeting that with her imagery. That's with her imagery. Exactly. And, and with her bio so, on the website. And then as like, Caribbean, she and I just felt lied to. Yeah, because she couldn't have said that when she when she emailed us back. But not even about the email, just even if I was a... Um, consumer. Just, yeah, just as a cons consumer, I just kind of felt lied to. And especially, like, I'm literally talking about me personally and me being like, okay, I want to support this about business. And it's no. not. So that's what I mean, but I literally felt lied to. Brand blackface. And it is brand and then, not, And that's not the first company to have done it. And it's not. That was an example, so I'm sorry to call you out. But... So there, I think there was something with Thug Kin Thug Kitchen in America as well. Yes. So and yeah, the the words that they were using. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just um, I feel like so they obviously feel like I'm sure she's a lovely woman and all that shit. But <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. But if no one's gonna point it out or say anything, it's gonna then continue. you're sitting back cashing in on them coins, thinking yeah, this is cool, and we're here to tell you it's not cool. Like that's not okay. I just, I just find it so rude. Like, and it's both sides. I find so rude. The black businesses that are not handling their own with having their own black models and having faith in it, because that's what it is to me. Having faith in the black consumer. Yeah. You're not having faith in the black consumer. Or on the other side, you got these white people that have utmost faith in the black consumer and are targeting the black consumer because they understand how much power the black consumer has. Because we are as a demographic, we buy a lot. We buy a lot of crap. Um. So it's really annoying, and I just want—we just wanted to point it out. Because and it's just something, to, yeah. We wanted to point it out because it's something to just be mindful of and yeah. aware of, and pay attention to. I hate when people just try and bypass stuff. Like, you know, we see it. It's important. It. it is very important. No one talks about it though. No one talks about it. Why? It's just so rude. Like, just find a black business, and you got them being promoted. Oh, this is a black business. You go on their page. Oh, white people with the flip. Yeah, like. like why? I hurt my brain. <laughs> Why? Like, I literally words could come out. I just had to do this. And there's a particular business that I found out that we were, um, they were just like promoting the business and they also help communities in less privileged places. So the two images you have on that page are the white models and the poor kid, black kids in the less privileged in the pri less privileged places. And I'm just like, do you not understand the imagery you're putting out there as a black brand? Like it's not smart it's not intelligent it's it's very offensive as well because i if i've noticed it and i'm a black consumer and i specifically go out my way to support black brands i feel a way about supporting you because you yeah. don't see i was just about to you say don't, that you don't feel the same about it's like black models. the connection yeah and... where's the connect they've lost you've like cut off the black consumer in the middle and that is it's an issue and it's an official it's an issue and especially in a time where we're trying to take like our pride, our sense of self, and then you yeah. put in white people with a head wrap in your business, I'm just like, uh, stop, stop it happening. I'm sorry, but then I start second guessing whether I'm trying to support you because then I'm like, because then what you are seem your intentions? That's you the thing. To... Are you a black business that's supporting other black people? Are you supporting your own? I understand are some you... people want to grab the white coin and use it for black businesses. I understand are you that, your but own? So if, then why, if you're you know, not, then why am I supporting you? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's it. That's the truth. Truth be told, people, because I ain't seen nobody talking about this, and it's, it's been, been and it's been annoying us for a time. But like, and it will we come started back to business in two thousand and what? Four, four, 
15. 15. Yeah. And then we'll come across another black business and it's like the same thing. It's like, and stop, I'm like, just stop. What the hell? And then there's some businesses, JM's like, yeah, 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 it's, it's black owned. I'm like, no, it's not. Then we check and it's like, no, no, they're not black owned. <laughs> it's a mockery. And you can't be there like support talking about black models not getting support, oh, this is wrong, and then you've you got your black support, business and you've you got- You support your own. How does that How happen? many black models are there out there? Or aspiring black models you could give their big break to? Come on. How does that make sense? I don't get it. Like, what runs through your mind? It pisses me off. Like, they're dissociating the chain of events. They're dissociating the fact that there needs to be black businesses supporting the black models. I'm vexed. I think I just need a moment to kiss my teeth. Anyway, guys. That's this it. is our hair say number seven done. Whoop. Um, took us a while to come back with another hair say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, our topics that we have covered, um, leave some comments below. Let us know what you think. Um, subscribe to our channel, obviously. We have Twitter at Culture UK, Instagram at Culture UK. Um, and also I just want to take this opportunity to just thank everyone for their support and their love and thank their you. kindness and we are going to be on Natural Hair, the panel for Natural Hair Week mm -hmm. um, which is going to be in Leeds, Birmingham, Manchester and, and London. London so we're really excited for that Yay. Um, and we will leave ticket information below yeah. for you guys but yeah um, once again thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!